Why I'm wearing this lovely black sweatshirt. It's just to show you that you can dress up anything. <laughs> That's not really working. You want to eat your kids in this one. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny to say to you, you know, it's because I'm having a flash, all right? <laughs> anyway, um, one of the things that has really come to me lately that I am so very thankful and blessed about Premier is the flexibility that we have and the fact that I am not stuck in an office. Because we, this year, has been one of the toughest our family has faced in a long time. With one thing after another after another with... Um, People in the hospital on the verge of death or medical issues dealing with one of my children or my husband. And then most recently today, <laughs> um, Christian hurt himself yesterday at soccer field, okay? I love that I can just drop everything and go when I need to go, okay? But I don't have to sit at a desk and wonder, am I going to get fired? Somebody get mad at me and they're going to write me up for something because I have to leave. Now, yesterday was not an office day. However, it opened me up today to be able to do whatever I needed to do, which was get my child to the doctor. So Christian got himself hurt yesterday. He's a goalkeeper. And so one of the biggest things he does is that dive, you know. And you can just imagine it's your body coming down full force on the ground. You have no pads like football there. All right, so it hurts me all the time to watch that dog. But yesterday, he overextended and he did something with a lower muscle here. And so we went to urgent care because it was even hard for him to walk. Big muscle. A big muscle. <laughs> big muscle. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Steve. Sorry. Important muscle. Anyway, so yes, that was a concern because he was hurting so badly. We thought something was damaged. Anyway, uh, that doctor said no, it was just that muscle, and so we thought that that was okay. Well, I just felt like he needed a second opinion because urgent care don't do a full thing. Well, Ashley works for a sports medicine doctor. And so we went there today to have it looked at, and what ended up coming of it was we found another injury that we weren't aware of that it was there, but this injury allowed us to get it seen about. So they took an x-ray of him today, because um, he's had lower back pain, which you know we all do, especially if you're doing something like that. But the x-ray came back with something that they were concerned about. He And I would actually told some of y'all today, and I told you incorrectly. Um, I thought I was confused, so I asked Ashley when she came in, but um, the spine is the ver all the vertebrae in the spine, and then you have the discs in between. Well, I had misunderstood and thought it was a disc issue. He has got a couple vertebrae that there are chunks missing. It's almost like an erosion, or like a like it's degrading almost on the vertebral body. Have. So they're trying they're going to do so. a bone scan to see if he's okay. So not to worry about it. Not going to be scared of none of that. But mm -hmm. he's got a bone scan on Monday um, that he has to go in and have dye put all through him, and then they'll see all the stuff and. Um, go from there with it but I'm thankful number one that I have flexibility that I can come and go and do as many doctor's visits as we need because in this house we keep a running medical bill <laughs> unfortunately but you know what you can't take your money with you and it's better to have peace of mind and healthy people so we do what we have to do but the other part is that I have such loving people in my premier family that I can truly call on anybody at any time if I need help if I need somebody that I just got to cry on their shoulder, and I do plenty of that myself, um, or if I need somebody to step up and do this because I wasn't even sure I was going to make it back on time. And I, I told some of uh, my table last year, we got pulled out because during the same time, Aiden got hurt, busted his head open, we ended up in the emergency room. So I told him, no running today. I'm not going to the emergency room. So I just love the people. That is the biggest thing in Premier to me. You will make lots of money. You will do wonderful things in your life. But you will make relationships that you would have never thought you would have. And so that's why I'm grateful. Now I took a little bit extra time, but I just wanted to share why Premier is so very important to me. Every one of you, whether you're in my downline or my side or whatever, I don't look at anybody any different. We're all part of this family and love y'all and we're glad you're here. great people and made some great relationships with some great ladies but um, <clears throat> aside from that I love going to my shows and um, to me it's good clean fun mm -hmm. um, and I'm always meeting new people and I'm always meeting new ladies and I just never know whose life I made blessed just by being there and you know getting them out of the house for some whatever reason so 
It's really about the people now. Um, yeah, the, mon the extra money is fantastic, but aside from that, um, I wouldn't have the extra money without the people, so yeah. I just feel blessed to be here. Uh, let's see here. I'm just now coming on a year. So, but yeah, I really wanted to get into it because of the, the friendships and the relationships and, of course, the financial end of it, but also with the flexibility, and that's just been wonderful um, with everything going on. And I've just taken on another side job, too, so it's it's been kind of an – and I'm ready to kind of – after things kind of calm down, um, get back into it you know, a little more. I've kind of put it on the back burner some and picked it up here and there. So, but uh, she's getting married next weekend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, next weekend, yeah. <laughs> Two weeks, yeah, twenty first, so yeah. Well, these are a little chaotic, but yeah, it's it's kind of nice having the flexibility of it. Um, I am Shirley Roberts. And <laughs> Don't act all bashful now. Right. I have a lot to say, and so now I don't want really to have a lot to say tonight, which is weird. Get front and center. No, I'm just kidding. Right then you can up. talk. <laughs> um, I've been in for two years. And I got in, you know, we think we have a plan, but really God always has a different plan than our plan. So usually he tricks us to get in and then he gives us the real plan. So I thought I'll get in for the money, but it really has nothing to do with money or jewelry. Um, for me, like Candy, the relationships are the biggest deal. Like, I've made so many close friends. Candy is my, like, BFF and will be forever. Um, and, you know, I was telling one woman when we had our last, like, blingo, I was talking to her about premiere and just how even my, I have five kids and my last baby after he was born, I had more support from premiere sisters than I did blood. And that, like, loyalty for me is a very big deal in life. Um, and that's what I found about premiere sisters is that it doesn't matter whose downline you're in, everyone is genuine and loyal. I've yet to meet one woman in premiere that is disgenuine. Um, and that's what I love about Premier the most is the relationships. I love the trips. That's why I think we're going to get the Haven. <laughs> because, you know, yes. I think it's good to just get out and let your hair down. And I'm sure I, you do. <laughs> and show your boobs <laughs> to like Candy Bennett on trips. I know, but um, she was, there was a reason. She yes. was nursing. She had her boobs yeah. out. She nursed it. I'm like, well, my of course, she had a first time on with her who, you know, was by her side the whole time. I mean, there's lots of funny stories going on camp on scavenger hunts with her husband. Yes! <laughs> in Texas, that broke me of a lot of prudishness I had before that trip. Um, but it's just a lot of fun. So most girls that I talk to Premier about, I'm like, listen, just get in for the fun to go out of town with a girl. It's like being in summer camp with 12-year-olds, you know? It's, just, it's so much fun. So anytime I can get out of town, I'm like, I'm there. Yeah, she's like, girl, I'm registering, okay? Like, the day after it came out, she's like, I'm going to go ahead and sign up for yeah, whatever they can think for themselves. Yeah. yeah Miss Mary. Uh, I'm Mary, and I've only been in it for about, what, three months now? About three months. So, I, the biggest thing was getting out of the house. I've got a lot of testosterone going around in my house. I need some women's time to start to feel a little bit. And I've made a lot of friends. Um, you know, I mean, it just... It's the relationships. I think that's the bottom line. I mean, if you're in it and you're going into it, yeah, the extra money is nice. But if you if you think that is your main goal, I, I just don't think that you're going to be successful with that. I think it's more important to be blessed with the lives that you can touch by being a true friend and being there for somebody that may need to listen, to understand. And I mean, that's that's the biggest thing with me is I like being around the women. I'm Christy, and I also three months, I think. Um, We're virgin. Yeah, we are. Right, yeah. Recently, my um, nephew's wife is diagnosed with terminal cancer, and um, she, there's nothing else they can do for it. So, um, my next party, I'm giving 100% of what I make to them because they're taking their kids to um, Disney World. So, mm -hmm. if I didn't have this, I couldn't give them extra money. Mm -hmm. so. um, oh, I'll pop that one. 
So this is I'm also a virgin apparently. Um, <laughs> I have been in for three months, um, but I have been around Premier now for three years, and it's the same thing, just buying a lot of jewelry, and um, so I should be thankful just not for the discount, I think. So I got in it um, uh -huh. very much for the money, because I could absolutely use the extra money and would love the flexibility that everyone talks about to be able to not go and punch that time clock every day. Um, but for me, the other thing was, I have been, um, oh, yeah, I have been, maybe those guys helped me for sure, too. But I have been um, away from church for a really long time, and just recently, um, I guess when I got pregnant and I started feeling that God was like, there is a God, I mean, he's still there, and he's very much in my life, and it's all a purpose, and so it was good to have the support system of knowing that Premier is a civical-based company and that everyone here um, believes the same thing. And it's supporting because, um, you know, you're, I, have the, I have other friends, but then it's nice to have this kind of support, especially for these all friends. And um, so now church has become this big thing for me. We go every week, and I want to raise my child the same way. And so for me, that's become a big aspect of it, to have other moms, other friends who understand that. Mm. Yeah. 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 Y
ever done before, and I'm looking forward to, you know, really diving in and, you know, learning more about the world. I really don't know. I guess I'm going to start. <laughs> a year, six months plus, and um, I had some health, health challenges when Julia met me, and so Premier has been a blessing, uh, the home office, and I must say that Judy, Tammy, and Candy, no matter when you call them or when you email them, they will respond, so I appreciate it, and it says something. I appreciate the cards, so it says something. It means a lot. So Premier has been a blessing. I've met a lot of people. I like to hurry. I like to look good. I look good. You think I just be down here, but you ought to see me doing the daytime. <laughs> um, I like jewelry. So it, it has been a real blessing, and I like the fellowship. My husband asked me tonight, he said, where are you going to the ladies? <laughs> the ladies. My husband calls it training. <laughs> <laughs> so it's been a blessing. Um, I'm Judy Williams, and I am um, about to start my seventh year. Um, where it went, um, I have no idea. Um, I happened to call Tammy because someone had given me her name. Um, I've been to a couple jewelry shows, and uh, well, I was invited to a couple jewelry shows, but I, I didn't go. <laughs> <laughs> Because she was supposed to find me. Well, mm -hmm. I had her name for two weeks. And I'm sitting in the car, and I um, I don't know why, but I called her. <coughs> she happened to have something here going on. That I don't even know. I don't know if Linda Wade was here. I don't know. I don't even know what night was. And I told my family that uh, I'm going to a networking meeting. Because I did a lot of networking. Mm -hmm. I didn't tell them where I was going. And when I heard about the company, I was like, this is a no-brainer. But my girlfriend, who said I should be doing this and told me all about the company, who's not doing Premier, by the way, um, told me I needed to be doing this. And when I heard about it, um, I thought it was a no-brainer with the money. But what I didn't expect was all the friendships. Mm -hmm.
I, I tell ladies at my, um, my shows, I'm a lifer. I will always be in premiere. I think the oldest jeweler is 86 years old. So I've only got a couple more years to that age. <laughs> so. <laughs> but, um, so I, I really believe that the Lord brought premiere to me for a reason. My husband has health issues. My mom just had a heart attack. And I was able to drop what I was doing and go down there twice in two weeks. Um, so the blessings just keep going. So that's why I really, I truly love this company. And I'm done. And I did good with tears. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Sherry, and I am, I've been in it about, it's about six weeks, and it's ironic because um, Candy kept calling me, and I'm like, I'm so scared, I'm so scared, because I had sold, you know, I had sold Mary Kay, and Tupperware, and Tastefully, Simply, Taste, Simply, Tasteful, <laughs> you know, everything, and my husband's like, I, I could just hear it. You know, Another kid in the closet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, you know, um, so Candy was persistent, and um, finally I said yes, and I just hit my first challenge. <laughs> first six, we had six shows and nine and four days. So I'm very, very competitive. So uh -oh. I already told my husband I'm going to do the nine. I'm going to go all the way, okay? Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. get ready. And I've uh, got room is now a jewelry store. <laughs> yeah, but I've um, got to figure something out about that. But um, lesson wise, I, I had back surgery in March and was just sit, I've been working since I was 15, and all of a sudden I, have, I couldn't do anything. Bend, lift, twist, nothing. Just sit. And um, so. Um, I became, I became, you know, permanent. I had to do it. Anyway, so things, when I got started to get set out and I met Tammy and I was like, I gotta get the house, get out of the house. And so th this has brought such a, a blessing to my life um, as far as friendships and camaraderie you know, and challenges. I love a challenge. <laughs> Who wants to be her running buddy? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
years of service in a way. But I will say, I love Premier. I've seen everything that Premier can offer. And I love these ladies. Thank you. Don't make me cry. <laughs> <laughs> they don't go nowhere. Mm -mm. Yeah. They don't go nowhere. Fourteen months, I'm still here. Yeah. Forever. All right. My turn. Are you done, Are you sure? Okay. My name is Lindsay. Um, I just decided to sign up last night. Yay! Um, I have brought the tan or uh, candy said Rhonda Rice is under you. I've brought oh. my jewelry lady. Gosh, ten years ago. For years, I've been buying Premier jewelry, and I just love it. And so my, I have twins, and we just we're living with my aunt in her basement right now, and we're building a house. And so we were just—it's funny that you came last night. We were just talking yesterday during the day of how we can make some extra money to furnish our house and get everything we want for our new house. And Tammy came over and started talking about extra money, and my husband's <laughs> always been like. We're, we're not signing up for anything. You're not going to sell anything. You're not signing up. And last night I told him about it. He said, I'll support you. And to me, it was like, okay, I'm doing this. So, but after hearing all of you guys, now I'm super excited about the friendships and that side of it that I didn't, and the I didn't really think, and the trips yeah. that I didn't really think about. So I'm excited. Oh, yeah, and for Joy. I love, Julie, yeah. I love my But now you get to break. Yeah. All right, so I guess I'm last, and then we're going to, like, break for the guests that we got, got y'all trapped full time. Sorry. Um, we weren't sure how tonight was going to flow because um, it is our thankful training, and we do things a lot different. So those that are here as guests and you as, you know, brand new, brand new, um, our normal training will be a little bit different, but this is just the heart of what we do. And so I just signed my 10th contract. So <laughs>
<laughs> but yeah, so it's fun. And so I like appreciate all of y'all being here. And um, I said look forward to all the trips and stuff with y'all too. And it's awesome to get to do this alongside my sister. So we get to go on many trips together. We've been on multiple cruises and we're looking forward to one in April. So yeah. So that's all. And I guess we'll do the guest split. What's wrong? Do I turn it off?